Hello, welcome to my music class. This is the final lesson of the year. I'm so glad you came back. Well, do you know that we have sung over 30 songs this year? Well over 30, and you have learned so much. And I'm gonna show you how much you've learned. So let's get started. Hello, boys and girls. How are you today? Let's go ahead and start warming up your voice. Let's do it with a summer theme this time. Follow the lightning bug with your voice. So is your voice all warmed up? Well, are you sitting up tall like this girl? That helps you be a better singer too. Let's sing El Coqui. El Coqui, El Coqui, El Coqui, El Coqui, El Coqui, sung this song in a while and that is we are dancing let's go ahead and sing up we are dancing in the forest while the wolf is far away who knows what will happen to us if he finds us at our play wolf are you there <laughs> let's try it again and this with a girl wolf here we go we are dancing in the forest while the wolf is far away who knows what will happen to us if she finds us at our play wolf are you there <laughs> so let's go ahead and play that game let's start by singing the song we'll sing the song and then have two turns and then sing the song ready go we are dancing in the forest while the wolf is far away who knows what will happen to us if he finds us at our play wolf are you there and what's it gonna be Oh, shoo! The wolf is busy making pancakes. All right, let's hear it again. And, oh no, if you're wearing black, wah, 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 you are out. All right, let's sing the song. Ready, go. We are dancing in the forest while the wolf is far away. Who knows what will happen to us if she finds us at our play? Wolf, are you there? Here we go. Oh no, if you're wearing blue, the wolf got you. Wah, wah, wah. Sit down. All right, let's do this again. And ho, oh, phew, the wolf is brushing his teeth. He's too busy to eat anybody. And the rest of you, if you were out, you're back in the game. And let's sing the song. We are dancing in the forest while the wolf is far away. Who knows what will happen to us if he finds us at our play. Wolf, are you there? Here we go. 
Oh, no! Black again! That's just not fair! Let's do it again. Red! Oh, no! Wah, wah, wah. All right, let's sing the song. We are dancing in the forest while the wolf is far away. Who knows what will happen to us if she finds us at our play? Wolf! Are you there? What's it gonna be? Oh, phew! Making pancakes! All right, everybody that was out, you're back in, and everybody's safe. Let's do it again. Oh, uh oh. We're safe, but she's sharpening her teeth! Yikes! Uh oh. Let's sing the song. We are dancing in the forest while the wolf is far away. Who knows what will happen to us if she finds us at our play? Wolf, are you there? Uh oh, she's got sharp teeth now. Oh, that's kind of on the line. Let's do that again. Red again. Oh, this is your unlucky day. Wah, wah, wah. All right, let's do it again. Making pancakes. Whew. Boy, he must be a hungry wolf. Blue. Oh, no. Wah, wah, wah. Here we go. We are dancing in the forest while the wolf is far away. Who knows what will happen to us if he finds us at our play? Wolf, are you there? Alright, what is it? Oh, well, my goodness, it's kind of on the line, but it's kind of like a green. If you're green, wah, wah, wah. Let's go ahead and go on again. Oh, phew, this wolf is going to school. Oh, I hope he brought a mask. All right, let's sing again. Everybody's in. We are dancing in the forest while the wolf is far away. Who knows what will happen to us if he finds us at our play? Wolf, are you there? This is our last time. Ah, oh, phew, he's brushing his teeth. Yay, probably because Everybody he ate got his teeth all nasty. Now he's got to have fresh breath again. Oh, yikes. All right, I hope you had a great time playing this game. So I told you I would let you know how much you learned this year. So I'm going to do that through Music Bingo. So I created a game that had all the things that you learned, or almost all of them. And so we're going to play that right now. So I want you either to print off one of the copies. There's five different ones, so just choose one. Or if you can find a way to split your screen and play it while uh, you watch the video and I call out the different things. Either way, okay? Five in a row gets a bingo, either down, across, or diagonally through the middle, okay? So let's go play that. Here is the bingo card and there are 25 different pictures, okay, or words. And what you want to get is five in a row. So you could get five squares down, five squares across, or five squares through the middle diagonally, okay? How do you know when you have a square checked off? There is this X in the middle that it will go ahead and cover, if you drag it, you can cover the square that I call off, okay? So if it's got an X over it, that's counted as one, all right? So let's see, let's go ahead and start. There are five different bingo cards. There are some of them are in different places. So if you're playing as a class, not everybody should get a bingo at once, okay? 
All right, let's go ahead and start. Will you please drag the X to the quarter note? Do you see the quarter note? All right, the quarter note is right here, isn't it? We say ta, all right? So I want you to put, drag an X right over that quarter note. You see that? Find it on yours, all right? There we go. If I go too fast, just stop the video until you catch up. All right, let's find the pair of eighth notes, okay? Can you find the pair of eighth notes on your bingo card? We also say TT for those, right? Okay, do you see them? On my card, they're right up here. See that? So you're gonna drag an X over the pair of eighth notes, okay? There we go. Now do you see we have an X down here, an X down here, X down here. But none of these actually will make a row because they're all different places. All right, let's keep going. Let's find a picture that has a boy doing locomotor movement. Locomotor movement. Do you remember what locomotor means? That means the person is moving and they're actually going somewhere. So we have two pictures of a boy. One is clapping and one is walking. Which do you think makes him go somewhere? the walking, right? So that's locomotor movement. So take your X and cover him up there. Okay. All right. Oh, now we have two in a row. See that? <laughs> okay. Let's find another one that shows the quarter rest. Can you please put your X over the quarter rest? That's the silence where we put our hands out to the side. Do you remember what that symbol looks like? It's right here, okay? So it might be in a different place on yours. So this is a quarter rest. So find it on your card and then drag the X over here, all right? And now it's covered up, all right? Now these two will be in the same row, okay? Let's go ahead and find the hand sign for so where's the hand sign for so well we have two hand signs here right this th there's this one and this one okay which one so this one right thumb on top all right so drag your x and cover up that one okay oh look it we've got two going this way two going this way and we have two in this diagonal one. Ooh. <laughs> okay, can you find the symbol that means repeat? Do you know where the repeat sign is? That is the one with dots, right? Okay, so pull your X over the symbol that has those two dots. You see that? That's what you want to cover up. All right, that's the repeat sign. There we go. All right, oh, look at we have two this way, okay? Can you find the hand sign that means me? Where is the me? Do you find the hand sign for that one? Well, there's only one hand left, right? <laughs> and that's down here, because that's our hand sign for me. There we go. Now, can you find the bar line? Where is the picture of the bar line? All these pictures, which one is the bar line? Do you remember that this is the bar line? And the arrow's pointing to it, right? Okay, so there's your bar line. So drag an X over the bar line and oh look at that we have four in a row we almost have a bingo and look at there's three this way very nice okay now let's find the circles that make so so me can you find which set of circles 
show. So, so me. Where are those? Well, we have two sets of circles. There's two that are the same, and then one goes down to the space below. And then we have one on a space that goes up to the very next note, and then back to its original spot. Okay, which one? Well, this one looks like, up here looks like, so la so. But this one is so so me. Ah, this is the one we want, right? So go ahead and cover up this one. There we go. I want you to find the picture that shows this song. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. What picture do you think shows that song? Do you know what song that is? Did you guess Naughty Kitty Cat? <laughs> Naughty Kitty Cat, meow. You are very fat, meow. You have butter on your whiskers. Naughty Kitty Cat, meow. Well, can you put an X on that big cat right there? <laughs> All right, let's draw that X right there. Ah, oh, look it. Ooh, we have three diagonally. We have three this way now. Ooh, it's getting closer. All right, can you find the picture of the boy who is doing non-locomotor movement? He is moving, but he is not going anywhere. He can do that all day and never get home. <laughs> okay, well, of course, it's the boy clapping, right? So we're going to put an X right over there. That is called non-locomotor movement because you're moving but not going anywhere. Okay, so let's find the word that means a short musical idea. We used our rainbow arms to show this. If we use snail, 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 go around and round and round. There were only two short musical ideas in that one. Do you remember what the word is? Motive. That's right. Can you cover up the word motive? Do you have that on your card? Of course you do. Everybody has every one. You just have to find it where it is. Okay. So cover up motive. Oh, it's getting really close. There are four now. Let's talk about our speed of music, okay? The fancy word is called tempo. And we learned some tempo words this year. One was walking speed. Walking speed. And that is andante. Can you find this word andante? It's kind of slow, okay? Can you drag an X over that one? There we go. Good job. Let's find the one that means fast. It starts with an A too. And there's only one A word left here. <laughs> Can you find allegro? Allegro? Yep, that's right here. If you don't have it right up there, look where else it could be on your bingo card. So cover up that allegro. Oh my goodness, we have so many almost bingos. <laughs> Let's find the word that means pattern of strong and weak beats, okay? So if we had strong, weak, strong, weak, and that would be a pattern of two. Do you remember what that word is? Meter, right? We use the word meter for those patterns. And so can you find meter on your card? All right, meter right here. There you go, okay? So if your card has a bingo, then you have to say bingo. And in my room, if they get a bingo, they get a piece of candy. Mmm, tasty. All right, well, we don't have a bingo yet. What's up with this silly game? Okay, so let's go ahead and find the double bar line. Where is the double bar line on this card? Well, double means two, right? So that's going to be right here. 
So here is the double bar line. That tells you the song is over. So we're going to put that right there. Boom. And guess what? We have a bingo now. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Five X's in a row make a bingo. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Good job. All right. So in case you have another card that doesn't have a bingo, let's do two more. Okay. Let's go with the symbols that show so la so where is so la so there's only one set of circles left okay and that's right here and sure enough that's so la so can you go ahead and put an x over that there we go all right Oh, that didn't give you a second bingo yet, okay? <laughs> Sometimes my kids get second bingos. All right, let's go ahead with the symbol, which is an accent. An accent shows that that note is a little bit louder than the others, okay? Do you remember that one? That's this symbol right here. Can you put an X on the accent? There we go. All right then. So there are still some words left, but I never go to 100% because everybody would get a blackout all at the same time. That's what you call when you get all of them covered up, blackout. But all these cards have the same thing, so it wouldn't mean anything to get a blackout. So look how many things you've learned this year. We did do loud and soft and slow and fast and beat and rhythm too. You learned so much this year. That is just fantastic. I hope you had fun with this game. Hey, I hope you had a great time with me this year. You have learned so much and I want you to know I am so proud of you and I hope you have a great summer. Bye!